St. Gabriel Catholic Radio is pleased to bring you this gospel reflection from Bishop Earl K. Fernandez for the 11th Sunday in Ordinary Time. From the Gospel of Mark, chapter 4, verses 26 to 34. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, this Sunday we celebrate the 11th Sunday in Ordinary Time. We find ourselves in St. Mark's Gospel. Jesus said, Repent, the kingdom of God is at hand. He went about furthering the kingdom of God by casting out the evil one and forcing him to retreat. He went about proclaiming the kingdom of God through his healing miracles and restoring people to wholeness, a sign that when the kingdom comes in its fullness, there will be no more sickness, suffering, or death. His will be a kingdom of peace and joy and truth. Jesus now begins to explain the kingdom in parables to the crowds. He explains things in words and in ways that they can understand. This Sunday we hear two parables. One, Jesus likens the kingdom to a farmer who scatters seed and tills the soil and waters the soil. And eventually you get the seed begins to grow and it grows and then you get the leaves and eventually you get the fruit. How is this possible? Except by the working of God and God's grace. It's the kingdom of God. We must realize that despite all the farmer's efforts and the farmer's cooperation is necessary, ultimately the fruitfulness in the kingdom depends upon God himself. And that should be important for us in our own spiritual lives. We have to do some work to cooperate with God's grace. But the Lord is the one ultimately who allows us to bear fruit. Jesus would say, I am the vine, you are the branches. Apart from me you can do nothing. And so we open ourselves up to God's grace and allow the Lord to be at work within us. In fact, St. Paul says, it's no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. So we allow Christ, the Son of God, to be at work and to be alive in us so that we might bear much fruit, fruit unto eternal life. In the second parable, Jesus speaks about the mustard seed, which is the tiniest of seeds. And so it is with the kingdom of God. It starts out small. But the mustard seed then grows into a big shrub, into a big tree, in which all the birds can even come and dwell in. So it is with the kingdom of God. And the church started with just Jesus and the twelve and continued to grow and grow and grow. And then all the nations can come and be part of the church. All of humanity is invited to be part and to share in the life of the kingdom, which, as I said, is a kingdom of truth and justice and love a kingdom of real peace, whether exterior peace or interior peace. Jesus comes to bring us the peace of God, to establish his kingdom in our hearts. Would that we would open our hearts and surrender to him and allow him to reign as the king and center of all hearts. May the sacred heart of Jesus show us his abundant mercy and love now and forever. Thanks for joining us for this Gospel Reflection from Bishop Earl K. Fernandez. Please be sure to visit the Bishop's podcast page at stgabrielradio.com.